हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर पवन जगन्नाथ तांबड़े वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एट मराठा विद्या प्रसारक समाज नाशिक डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ न्यूक्लियोफिलिक्स सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन इन लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी सॉ द की प्रैक्टिकल ऑब्जर्वेशन इन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन and the key practical observations are in nucleophilic substitution reaction the carbon leaving group bond breaks and the carbon nucleophile bond forms the second observation was nucleophilic substitution reaction where is according to substrate if we change the substrate then there is a change in reaction outcome the third observation was in certain cases rate of reaction depends upon concentration of substrate only however in certain cases rate of reaction was found to be dependent on concentration of substrate as well as nucleophile regarding stereochemistry we observed that the stereochemical outcome of nucleophilic substitution reaction is different if we are using different starting material that is different substrate for chemical reactions and depending upon this key observation we can categorize this nucleophilic substitution reactions into two major types those are sn1 reaction and sn2 reaction in this video lecture we will just see what is the mechanism of sn1 reaction and what is the mechanism for sn2 reaction now if you look at this reaction in this reaction this alkyl halide is allowed to react with this nucleophile and we can get this type of product so this is our starting material this is nucleophile this is product and this is the leaving group during this reaction it has been observed that rate of this reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate and concentration of nucleophile as well which means if you change the concentration of substrate or nucleophile there is change in rate of reaction so during this reaction it has been observed that this nucleophile attack on this electrophilic carbon and at the same time there is a breaking of bond between carbon and leaving group so mechanism of this reaction is found to be a concerted mechanism where attack of nucleophile and breaking of bond between electrophilic carbon and leaving group occurs at same time such mechanisms are called as concerted mechanism and as the rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of alkyl halide and nucleophile this reaction is called as sn2 reaction where this sn2 stands for substitution nucleophilic bimolecular so in sn2 reaction the attack of nucleophile and breaking of carbon leaving group bond occurs simultaneously and rate of reaction is dependent on concentration of substrate and concentration of nucleophile however if we look at this reaction in this reaction when this substrate is allowed to react with weak nucleophile like methanol we are expecting this product so this is our substrate this is a nucleophilic species this is product and this is by product which comprises of h positive ion and cl where cl is a leaving group during this reaction in this reaction it has been observed that the rate of reaction is dependent on concentration of substrate only and it is independent of concentration of this nucleophile it means when we alter the concentration of this substrate there is a change in rate of reaction however if we alter concentration of this nucleophile there is no as such change in rate of reaction after examination of number of such reaction 
it has been observed that in this particular cases the mechanism is stepwise that is initially there is a loss of living group and later on nucleophile attacks on substrate molecule and in that mechanism there are certain steps the first step in the mechanism is loss of living group so this is our starting material in this case this carbon chlorine bond breaks initially and this step is a rate determining step and in this rate determining step this nucleophile is not present and because of that rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate only and it is independent of this nucleophilic species after breaking of this carbon chlorine bond there is a formation of carbocation this carbocation is having this carbon which is in sp2 state of hybridization thus this structure is having planar geometry and in second step this carbocation get attacked by nucleophile because this carbocation is having planar structure this nucleophile can attack from front side or it can attack from back side and thus if we start this type of reaction from optically active compound then we can get optically inactive product which we observed in earlier video lecture so this nucleophile can attack from front side or back side and we can get this type of another intermediate and in last step there is a proton transfer in most of the nucleophilic substitution reaction of this type this step is there that is a proton transfer step now this hydrogen is lost as h positive and we will get our anticipated product so if you look at this slide you will come to know that in this reaction rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate only as in slow step this nucleophile is not involved the mechanism for this reaction is step wise mechanism however in earlier case it was a concerted mechanism which happens in a single step but here mechanism requires number of steps to occur so these type of reactions or this class of reactions are called as sn1 reaction where rate is depending upon concentration of only one starting material that is substrate and it is independent of concentration of nucleophile this sn1 stands for substitution nucleophilic unimolecular where this one stands for rate is depending upon concentration of only one starting material that is substrate so this is an example of sn1 type of reaction so if you compare between sn1 and sn2 reaction then we can see that in sn2 reaction rate of reaction depends upon concentration of substrate and concentration of nucleophile however in sn1 rate of reaction is depending upon concentration of substrate only and it is independent of concentration of nucleophile secondly in case of sn2 reaction the mechanism is concerted mechanism to the contrary in sn1 type the mechanism is step wise mechanism and the third most important observation or difference between sn1 and sn2 is in case of sn2 no carbocation intermediate forms because the mechanism is concerted attack of nucleophile and living of living group occurs simultaneously and no intermediate forms however in sn1 reaction there is a formation of carbocation intermediate so these are the key differences between sn1 and sn2 reactions so hereafter we are going to explore sn1 and sn2 reaction separately in detail so in sn1 and sn2 reaction we will focus on certain points and these points will be how the bond forms and how they break in sn1 and sn2 reaction what is the effect of substrate in both of these cases 
what is the role of nucleophile in sn1 and sn2 reaction and how nucleophile determine whether the reaction is going to proceed through sn1 path or sn2 path we are also going to put some light on the effect of leaving group in sn1 and sn2 reaction we will see the effect of different conditions during sn1 and sn2 reaction and the most important we are going to check out the stereochemistry of sn1 and sn2 reactions in next video lectures dear friends i hope in this four video lecture you got a clear cut idea about nucleophilic substitution reaction and hereafter we will see this sn1 and sn2 reaction separately and we will explore all the different possible parameters in sn1 and sn2 reactions thank you very much for watching my video thanks a lot